Hello and welcome, I'm Bio, and today we are looking at another requested game. I do apologise for how I was with uh, Tyson Net Gimmick, still feeling quite sick, if I'm honest with you, I can't help that, you know I'm sick at the moment. Um, if you're wondering like in some videos I don't sound sick, it's because those videos were recorded a while ago, this is uh, recorded like pretty much right now. Like, this day, for example, I don't know, whenever this video comes out, it was recorded on, recorded on the 10th of December, 2022, so, yeah. Whereas quite a lot of the videos that you might see this month are actually recorded in November, so. So, yeah. Um, I was a bit negative, but uh, I, I still stand by that I think that's, that Hot Tizen gimmick, uh, the Psycho, Capcom and Psycho All-Stars game, I didn't think it was a very good Mahjong game, in my opinion. It's, there's better, much better Mahjong games out there. Let's just wait. Maybe I'll have, take a look at some Mahjong games for the Dreamcast to try and see what potentially could be the best Mahjong game you could get on the Dreamcast. Maybe, at some point. But anyway, today we're going to be doing another requested games. And this time it's Smurfs Cart. I had no clue this was a thing. Apparently that it is. And it's and it came out this year. Um, in 20, It came out in November 2022. It's developed by Eden Games Mobile. And believe it or not, it's published by Maximum Games. Yes, that Maximum Games. The same Maximum Games that published My Motorcycle Club. The same... The, the, the same. The same Maximum Games family. Yeah? Because that's what they are, the Maximum Games family. Same one. I didn't even realize they also were the ones who did Putty Squad. Remember Putty Squad? That fucking horrendous game that they put on the PS3? Yeah, they did that game as well, surprisingly. I don't know. But yeah, this came out as a Switch exclusive. We're playing this game on Ryu Jinx, so see how we get on. I don't get Yeah, I'm just saying. It's what we're playing it on. We're playing on Ryu Jinx. Of course we are. And uh, this game was requested by... Oh. Bear with me. I had to create a new thing for... There we go. Why is it like... I'm just wondering why it's... There we go. Centered the screen. I don't know why it wasn't centered. So this was requested by Kung Sour. So... He wanted me to have a look at Smurf's car and Horrid Henry's Crazy Car. So I don't normally do two games, but both of them are kart racing games. Both I didn't even realize it was a Horrid Henry's kart racing game. I was like, oh, okay then. So uh, I am I am going to be having a look at both of them, um, starting with Smurf's car. So yeah, thanks for requesting this. Uh, Kung Sour. So let's jump into Smurf's car. I have no clue what this is going to be like. I can only imagine it's going to be pretty bad. A Grand Prix. Fun or hyperspeed? I think we can. I think we can give hyperspeed a go. All right, so we have Papa Smurf, Smurfette, Hefty, Handy, Storm. Character in it. Jokey, Clumsy, Blossom, Clockwork Smurf, Chef, Farmer. Astro Smurf. Well, I kind of like, um, where is he? I kind of like Jokey. Jokey's a good character, so I'm gonna pick Jokey. Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. So we have three cups Village Cup, the Forest Cup, and the Gargamel Cup. Okay, fair enough. I guess we'll just do the, the first one. I like how one of them is just called Race Circuit. So there's only, potentially speaking, 12 tracks in the game? Oh my, look at that. That's actual actual footage of the game on the Switch, by the way, there. Let's see how the game actually looks in Ryu Jinx. You'll be surprised. Now it could run really well, or it could run horrendously. It's hard to say. Oh no, here we are.
Okay. So straight away, the game looks actually not too bad. Oh. Oh, great! And this is the this is a game that uses the A button. In this case, yeah, yeah. this case, yeah, it would be the A button. The A uses the A button to accelerate. Interesting. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what it does. Oh, and you can get two. Of course, you've got to copy Mario Kart, haven't we? Oh, fantastic. Okay, I don't know why, but I seem to control that well there. For some reason I'm asleep, I don't know why. What's this? What even at was that? Okay. Not doing too well, as like as you can see. The the turning's a little bit delay. It just feels a bit delayed, but I don't know if that's the emulator, but it shouldn't be. Emulate is calibrated properly. Let's see what the drifting's like. Okay, there is drifting. It does work. Ah, okay, I understand now. I don't think it's the actual cart. It's the track at that point. Yeah, it is. It's the track. I get cool. Oh, is there like a drive? Okay, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I have a feeling that like, there's like driving assist is on. Don't go up there. Yeah, it's like driving assist or something. There is definitely some kind of driving assist. 100%. A little bit weird. I wonder if there's a way to turn that off. I'll get a sticker for Smurf Berries. Look at that. Who would have thought? But the game seems to run alright in the emulator, it's, it's good. <coughs> oh dear. Um, it's a little bit weird, it, it's not necessarily a bad kart racing game, it's just... I feel like there's some kind of driving assist that doesn't really... Get Smurf. Was there no music for this one? Is it just... Is the music just glitched out for this one and there's no music? Fantastic. Take the B. Take the big B. Big capital B. Alright, there's no way anyone I can see. Yeah, there is! There 100% is some kind of driving assist. Either that or it's just... Tries to push you in a certain direction. It's really weird. Um. It does. It does. It it literally turned me slightly without me even remotely touching the analog stick. That is interesting. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it does. I, I literally had my had my thumb to the side of the controller, and he turned it. Okay, here we go. No, 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 no. That, I'm not doing that. I, I'm not doing that. The, I'm not doing. I'm not doing any of these turning right now. I've got my finger on the A button. That's all I've got. All I've got right now, as we speak, is my finger on the A button. Right. That's it. That's all I've got. So there is driving assist. Interesting. And it just kind of glitches you out the way as well, which is interesting. So you have suggestion. There's controller suggestion. Well, I'm just saying, driving assist is on by default. And I know this game is geared towards children, but still. Oh no, there's a bee. Oh 
not the bees! No, not the bees! No! Anything but the bees! Ah, here we go. The music's decided to kick in now. <laughs> Ah, oh, well, this music's good as well. No, not another one of the bees. Not the bees. <laughs> not the bees. Where is Nick Kinless Cage when you need him? There is a problem though with. It really does not like you going. It really, really. I honestly that the. The driving assist actually does not help you in the slightest. Oh, okay, I'm second. I was in first for pretty much the entirety of the race. And then the driving assist decided to slam me into one of those um, acorn shells. Is it acorn? Chestnut? I don't know. <coughs> those spiky shell things. Basically, they're bananas in this game. It looks like each character has like a, a special. What do I get that from pressing L? I don't know. Smart steering, that's what it is. Tilt control. Auto acceleration. There we go. Yeah, it was. It was smart steering was on. Yeah, my way, boys. Music has decided to die again. Yeah. All right, now that the smart steering's off, I'm much more preferring this. Uh, okay. It still is a little bit janky in certain areas, the game. Like, what, hap what happened there? What happened there? Did you see that? What happened there? I went up the ramp and then suddenly got shifted to the right for some reason. That's what I mean. There is certain... There's, there's a certain level of jank in this game that is trying to hide itself. It's trying quite, quite hard to hide itself. But doesn't quite... doesn't quite do it. Doesn't quite hide itself. And you can see I'm not really drifting. Because I don't really feel like the drifting. <laughs> How about that, baby? And now the music kicks in. Here we go, boys. Oh, the music's fucking awesome in this game. Oh, it's so chill. I ain't going up that ramp again. <coughs> oh, come on. You can't say this music ain't chill. It's got the real chill fate vibes. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't want that bee on my side. I don't want no rest to be. Whoa, what happened there? What did I even hit? No! Whoa, 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 calm you. Calm you too, sir. <laughs> right, we finished. Yep, that auto steering was really screwing me up. Oh. 
50 Smurf. So, whereas with Mario Kart, you got a new, like, car part. In this game, you just get stickers for getting Smurf berries. Okay. So now we're going on to the final track of this cup. Which is just simply titled Race Circuit. But yeah, the game is running well. The game looks probably much better than it would ever do on the Switch. We're smurfing it now, boys! But, you know, obviously, you know that you know there's a drift, right? I just don't see the point of it. It serves no purpose. The drift serves no purpose. We're working at hyperspeed, apparently. Right, in this case, maybe there it would serve a purpose. Like, really tight corners. But even that, you see how wide you go with drift. Because you got to understand, Mario Kart's drift is the same. It has, it has quite a wide kind of thing. It has a wide, wide berth, as you could say, as, you, as you're drifting around. But you have to understand, the tracks are designed for it. Are the tracks designed for here? A little bit, hmm. Just when I can just go around like this. Seem to be doing pretty well without really using drift, so... really do not like the acorn. The acorn's fine as a power-up. It's basically a green shell, but you can't throw it backwards. The only power-up you can throw backwards is the spiky shell. That thing, what I've currently got, which is half of a acorn shell. Wow, that kind of came up on me pretty quickly. I didn't even hear it coming. Or else I would have thrown my shell down. Whoa. I also like that that's very clearly meant to be a blue shell, right? And it misses you. It's missed me twice. Interesting. Oh, well, there we go. We, we came first, believe it or not. I don't know how we managed to do that. There we go. We did the village cup. What if we unlock a character from this or not? I don't know, it kind of feels like all the playable characters are unlocked from the get-go. It just kind of feels like that. Alright. Let's just have a look to see what we get from completing a cup. What do we get? We've unlocked the Village Cup. So apparently I couldn't have been able, I wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to use the Village Cup anyway, because I hadn't unlocked it. We got a new sticker. Uh, another new sticker. That's it. No new characters, no new cards. Okay, no, nothing. Alright, well, I've played one um, Grand Prix Cup. And I think that's enough, personally, for me. Um, Smurf's Cart. It's fine. It's serviceable as a kart racer. The music is probably the best thing about it, if I'm honest with you. It's got really good music. Even, like, this like menu theme is just kind of silly. But there is actually some decent music here. But besides that, yeah, it's it's just a an okay a, an okayish kart racing game. I'm I'm surprised Maximum Games. I really am. I expected worse, knowing you, knowing you lot. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, we'll call it there. I've been Bio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.